Hello and welcome to Into The Barber Shop. I'm your host and barber, Jordan Brook, and today's guest is another fellow Essex boy. He's got his side of a very interesting story to tell, and he's married a stranger. This is Married at First Sight, Luke Worley. Luke, welcome to Into The Barber Shop, mate. Mate, it's, I need a trim, don't I? It's <laughs> nice to see ya. I liked your message. Sam, he actually said to me, he said he's been, he went out this week without a fresh trim because yeah, you're saving yourself, idea, right? Yeah. Saving yourself for a fresh trim. 100%. So we'll start with a little consultation. How would you like your hair cut and how do you normally have your hair cut? So normally I have like a bit of skin fade, like probably mm-hmm. mid. Yep. A um, bit off the top. Normally I'll be flicked over. Tucked over. Yeah. A little bit of a broken part in yeah, this side. One, yeah. Tuck this over and in. Yeah? Yeah. Keep perfect. looking nice and fresh, mate. I, um, yeah, I've, for weeks, I've had bundles of stuff to want to talk to you about. <laughs> I have never oh, in my life. Something. Yeah, listen, you don't want to get on with get, everyone. But you're never going to get on with them all. I'm in the same game, in the yeah. reality TV game. Mm. You know, with with Towie, you, you never. You're. I feel like you're quite like me. You're, you're from Essex as well. Yeah. We're quite. Yeah. We like to be liked. We like to get on with people. Yeah. Listen, I think what it is, it's not even that. It's more like. I'm happiest when I make people happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're not making other people happy, then there's no point. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. And it, but you're never gonna please everyone, you no, know what I mean? No, exactly. But yeah. let's start with like, uh, now I'm like married at first sight's number one fan. <laughs> I want to start with like the, the start of it. Like, um, how how did it all come about for you? Yeah, well, so I don't know why this. Happened. Two years ago, they messaged me on Instagram, and yeah. I was I was what? I was about a year and a bit out of a relationship, fresh out of like an eight-year relationship at the time. Yeah. Um, so she dumped me for God knows what reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know how it is. Always my classic. So, I can't I mean, believe she left nah, me. Nah, I can't believe it. Um, nah, so I got dumped and then I got a message. Um, after I put something on my Instagram story, like, so I was still single or something as a yeah. joke. And then um, one of the producers, casting producers, messaged me that year. Yeah. And I weren't ready. I was still cut up about my ex. So what year was this? That was um, two years ago. Right. Um, and then I said no. And I was like, no, I still weren't really ready. Mm. Um, and then they put me, I think they must have put me in contact with someone else, another Channel 4 show, and they basically sent me on a free holiday to, to Marbella. Because I was going to say, is, is this another show you've done? Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know, I didn't know, you've actually been on TV before, yeah, right? Yeah, so I've done it before, yeah. And is that common knowledge? Or Yeah, look, a few people know. If you, put, like, you get it, like, people in the public are like, oh, you must be fame hungry and that, but... Yeah. That, isn't, that isn't the case at all. The way I got sold the first TV show, show to me, there was like, oh, it's going to be a massive... Um, what was the first TV show? It's called Davina McCall's Language of Love. Yeah, and what, was that? what channel was that on? That's on Channel 4. Yeah, it's the yeah. same, the same, like, same network. But What's the concept of that show? Yeah, so the concept of um, Language of Love, it's quite, it's quite cool, and that's what sold it to me. So you, we didn't really know. It was, all mis- like, it was all mystery to us. Yeah. But there was, like, it's going to be surprises when you get there. You get flown out on a, on a holiday for a month to uh, Marbella. Sick. You're going to be st- stuck in a villa. Like This is what people don't get, yeah. You know what does me when people turn around and go, oh, I can't believe you do reality TV. Like You must be fame hungry. You're telling me you wouldn't go on a free holiday mean? for a month. <laughs> You've got no worries. You've just been Literally. done by your bird. You wouldn't go every gig you go. 100%. 100%. And I was, at, I, was at that, so I was like a year and a half mark into my like, breakup. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm like... When you're raring. I, need, I, I really need, I needed it kind of yeah. to get o- fully over it. I was thinking, that's how they sold it to me. I was like, look, this will help you get over it. Because I think they wanted me on maths then. Yeah. So they kind of used that as a stepping stone to get me to, to get me onto maths. Yeah. And then obviously I'd done that. And then that was, it, almost, I really enjoyed that to be fair. So that show was, you enjoyed that show. That was a good show. Yeah, it was wicked. Yeah. It actually was wicked. And I met some great people on there. Like Davina McCall was absolutely lovely, by the way. Yeah. I, I've never met her. To try and cut her hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never, no, I've never met lovely. her. I've never met her at all, actually, in the game. But I have heard that. Yeah, she's the most. And that's why I actually loved it as well. Everyone there was like so supportive and yeah, like it wasn't toxic at all. No, which is nice. Said, yeah, which is good. Um, and yeah, from that, obviously, I've done that. And then this year, um, someone called Kiki, one of the producers, casting producers, she's lovely. She uh, messaged me. Yeah. And at first, I said no again. Did she know you from the other show? I don't think so, no. But I think once you're on maths, so once you either apply or you get approached for maths, mm. you go into their database. So they always keep yeah. it just in case you kind of like they yeah. get a match with someone and they then try to get you on. Yeah. So then she she messaged me again this year, and I said no at first. Did you? And then she. Like, Why did you say no? What made you think no? You thought, again, I just wasn't ready. To, like, I thought it's a massive commitment marrying yeah. someone. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that goes to show I wasn't doing the, it that for is fame. That's the first thing for me. I thought I, when I think about it, like. Man, you know I mean? To get my head around the concept of the yeah. show, 
Like I said to you, I've never watched it. Yeah. I said to Soph, I was like, what is the con- like, concept? She's like, they get married. I'm like, what, they've never met each other? She's like, no. <laughs> and, and it is nuts. Have you got any idea who you're going to marry? No idea at all. And the, even so. the thing with me, right? Like, you get to fill in this like, massive questionnaire. Like, so they do the psychology behind it. They ask you all these scientific questions and they kind of try and really match to some, match you to someone what is really going to be beneficial to you and your match. Yeah. Um, but with me, like the worst thing about mine, I didn't know what she was going to look like at all. Because when they asked yeah. me about the looks and stuff, I refused. I didn't fill in the paperwork. I was like, yeah, I don't, yeah. don't want to go off looks. No, I, said, I, I, said, I think that's a, that's a good thing to say. And I think, because yeah, look, look, don't be wrong, all of us could sit like, like stand here or sit here and say, this is what a perfect woman would yeah, be and of course. describe someone. That perfect woman don't exist unless you meet that person. Yeah, and, I mean? and I agree with you there. I don't mean, I've never been one of them geezers to say when people go, oh, what's your type? It's sort of like, like I would have always said, if I'm honest, oh, my type is dark hair. But when I got with Soph, she was bleached blonde. It's yeah. like, you know, it's, it's what I met Soph yeah. and I absolutely fell in love with her. Like, yeah. when I first met Soph, she was ballsy, yeah. She, she walked up to a bar. I was talking to two birds at the bar and she walked up to me and dragged me away from the bush. She said, come on, you're coming with me. I was like, all right then. Walked with, like a little bit bigger. Me and her just got on that hassle. Yeah. So, so you, you've done your questionnaire, like, not your questionnaire, but your, your thing about what you want in a woman, yeah. everything like that, yeah? So go on. And then yeah, what, you so, didn't refuse to do on the looks? So yeah, I didn't I fill in any looks. I basically said, I'll have like any looks, it don't matter. Um, and it like, had things on there, like if they had disability. I was like, look, disability for me, as long as someone like, as long as I can support them, of it's course. fine. Like, if I'm honest, I said to them, like, if they're in a wheelchair or they literally, they, they have to like need someone to mm. kind of care for them, I can't do that because mm. they're better off with someone else who can care for yeah. them. But no. Because I know I couldn't, of course. Like, I wouldn't be able to support them if they needed the support, that is. Of if course. someone in the wheelchair that don't need support, then yeah, yeah. That, like, I would, 100%. And of course. I kind of, that was my like, criteria. I didn't really have no looks or, like, it was more about morals and, like, yeah. what the, if I can laugh with someone and they laugh at my it's absolute key. shit jokes, like, it's, key. it's sort of, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's absolutely That's what I really key. wanted, like. De- oh, definitely. And then, so talk me through the wedding day. So okay. you turn up to... Oh, you're getting so married? So, I only found the venue out two days before. Yeah. Um, and where was yours? So, it's Astrid House. Which is? Which is near Surrey Way, I believe. No, and that ain't, sorry. It's Astrid House, which is near in Hertfordshire. Yeah. Um, so, you turn up with your pals? So, because I, I got locked away from everyone the night before. I was basically, from the night before... <laughs> what, I was, are you allowed a phone? No, I, had, I could have my phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They take your phone off though on the wedding morning. Yeah, yeah. And you don't get your phone back until you finish the whole process yeah. unless you want to pay a bill. Wait, wait, wait. The whole process is in the whole of filming Married at First Sight? Yeah. They take your phone from day one when you get married and you don't get your blower back? No, unless you need to pay a bill or something. Like, Why? I'm going to have to like, pay like, my bills and I get my phone. Up. But they, they're there when you're on your phone as well. They didn't get really have a private, I couldn't really have a private conversation with any family. So none of your family really know what's going on? on they don't, no. So I, like, you wasn't really meant to, they didn't really want you at first, but yeah. I kind of ripped down some of my like, best pals numbers and my family's numbers. Yeah. Because you get given a burner phone. Yeah, I see that. With no internet on it. So the, I see that, the old the, Nokias, they come yeah, out. exactly. Last episode, I see it, obviously, the whole texting scandal with JJ yeah, and Ella oh, going on. We'll get onto that. So, but, yeah, we'll get onto that. <laughs> that's the first time I see the, the, yeah. uh, the phones come out, you know what I mean? So yeah. you get given one of them, they take your blower. They take your blower. And who, at your, at your wedding day, you allowed all your family in that there? Yeah, so you allowed tw- you was allowed 12 people. Yeah. Maximum. And right. what, what did your family say when you told them? They, Joe, you know they was like, they was a bit confused. They was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> old school, innit? That like old school thing. Because again, because none of them had just watched Mass before. No. So they didn't understand what it was an actual thing. Yeah. So when I was like, I'm getting married to a stranger, they was like, <laughs> What are you talking Hold about? <laughs> if I said that to my old man, what are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. It's quite funny, but um, yeah, so I was a bit shocked. And then when I like to explain to him what it was, they was like, okay, that sounds like pretty cool, really. Like, yeah. And they was kind of happy for me. They're like, my family is, and my friends are so nice. And, and supportive. Yeah, like, and if, yeah. If they could choose anyone to meet someone and be happy, it would, they, they would choose me. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And they, like, they was like, you know what, this is literally probably what you need. Yeah, well, listen, like, and f- from what you said a minute ago, an eight-year relationship sounds like a hell of a relationship to, to, oh, to not yeah. work. Like, hundred percent. How old are you, Lou? I'm thirty-one. Thirty-one. So that what what age did you get into like, that relationship? Um, I think it was like nineteen. You was nineteen. No, I was sorry. I was seventeen. No, I was about eight, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And it went for, for after eight, eight years. years man, I think it was like twenty-seven. That's when we broke up. listen. Talking about relationships, obviously, we're all talking about. And that's that's. I had, I had my friend Nathan in the chair earlier. I filmed yeah. one of him and. 
we had Sophie in here as well, and we were talking about relationships and getting over things and that. Like, mate, eight, eight years for, for a man to get over yeah. that and re-put yourself right. out there on national TV to get in another relationship is Trust me, it's good nuts. going. And like, touching the relationship side, like, people don't realise, and especially, like, men's mental health isn't spoken about enough. Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? I think people don't realise, even in the moment, like, people thought I was okay yeah. after that relationship ended. Yeah. I was suicidal. There was yeah, one time, yeah. like, and I've not said it to no one, so no, this is no, this no, the yeah. first person I said this to. There was one time I was sat on the end of my bed with like tablets in my hand, Don't, and no. I was thinking like, because I, I thought that's all I knew. Like yeah. that relationship, like it wasn't just her I lost. It was my pet. Yeah. It was my home. It was her family. Like it was my it life. Seems like, it my seems life like was the worst. done. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It seems and, like the worst thing in the world, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're in that in that position, like. Yeah. And this mate, is why horrible. I needed maths. Do you know what I mean? I think. This, yeah. is why I'm, I, this is why I didn't rush into it. Like I say, I was asked for the last two mm. years. Um, but it's like getting yourself ready to potentially go through that again. Yeah. As a man, like exactly. you said, men's mental health and everything, them positions aren't spoken about enough where, like, yeah. women, women, are, women are fucking strong, mate. Oh, 100%. Strong. Yeah, they and are. And I swear to God, women are better at dealing with things yeah. than men. Yeah, they are. They are. They Mentally, are. physically, they... Yes, they, they like a breakup. I feel like hurts a woman first of all, but they get up and they get on. They we get over suffering, it. men suffering silence. We do, and we we've don't even got, tell no one. But we've all got egos. Yeah, you don't. You'd have walked into a room then. I've done it. Yeah, I've been in that yeah. that time when I'm sort of like don't really know who I am and what I'm about. Yeah. I do, but my whole confident self isn't there. Yeah, and I've walked into a room and everyone thinks you're normal. And then you leave, and then you're going home like you said. Yeah, without the burden, without your pet, without your home. Mate, that as a man, that's hard. Yeah, it is. But you turn around to your pals, you go, oh, I don't fucking worry about yeah. it, oh, I ain't bothered. When really, like... Exactly, and the only time, the only, the only reason you turn up to these, like, events and stuff is to show your face, of, to, you make people believe that you're okay. Yeah. And the second you leave that place, that, like, your friend's house, yeah. it's relief, because you're on of your course. own again. Like, you kind of want to be on your own, but you want, you're also lonely at the yeah. same time. But, so, are you, you're okay now, though? Yeah, I'm good, like... From all that. And... The reason I chose th like this year to do maths, like I say, I've been asked previous years. The reason I chose this year is because I was ready. Yeah. Like I think I, I would have been in the wrong mind space like the previous couple Bit of years. Bit of maybe like self sabotage or like hundred percent, going like a wrecking ball. Hundred percent. Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been the real me. You see, so I wanted to wait till I was in, in the right place. Obviously, marrying a stranger isn't something you like. No. You just choose to do overnight. So I no. kind of had a couple of years to. I always knew they were going to come back and ask me. I, yeah. I don't know why. I just always knew because they yeah. asked me two years before. So. I knew, like, if I waited to the right time, I knew it'd feel right for yeah. me, and it did. Yeah. Um, but if we go back to like the wedding day. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Like it was, like the wedding day was weird. Like me and my best man was were put in this holding room for like four or five hours. Yeah. It was, like knocking back to prosecco and that. <laughs> it was quite funny. There's actually a clip on Instagram where I popped the prosecco. Yeah. And it hits like the Astrid House ceiling. It's like a massive vintage building. Yeah, yeah. So one of the producers were in there. There's like. Luke, this is a vintage building. No, no it's, a, it's not. It's a go. Joke. Yeah, it was cracking up. But we had a laugh, and then I wasn't nervous until I got to the. Do you get to pick aisle. your own suit and all that? Yeah, yeah. So I got to pick my own suit. It's yeah. it's, it's so mental actually thinking like because obviously I look at it. I'm I'm gonna marry so fun day. Yeah, I don't know yeah. when it's gonna be. Not put the question yet. Yeah. She <laughs> asks me every day to put the question, but we will get married <laughs> one day. And when I think about everything I want to do yeah. to plan that wedding, go and get me suits and my pals and all that. You've done it, yeah, but full blown, not having a fucking clue. Yeah, literally, <laughs> it's marriage. mad. It's crazy, isn't it? Do you know how hard it is it's to get crazy. my head around that? It is mental. Like, I'm, I'm, to do it, you've got to have a bit of insanity about you. I think ah, to do it. I think to be on TV, you've got to have a oh, certain oh, bit. Yeah, you've got to have a certain bit about yeah. you to be on TV, anyway. Yeah. But so, you best, you and your best man locked in a room. Yeah, we're locked in a room. Have this big bomber juice in and out, getting pulled from pillar to post to do like interviews and, and stuff. Jay is there at this point in the in the building. She's in the building in another room. But you don't I don't know, know where, where she yeah. is. Don't know who she is. Um, so what I done? I had a gift. I went to um, I bought like a Chanel perfume as like a wedding gift. Nice. Um, Did they tell you to do that? No, 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 you no. Just no, no I just don't know. I thought, so what it is? Yeah. I thought because uh, what I thought I thought to myself. This is like the week before. I was like, what would a girl forget? And I thought she's gonna forget her perfume. Yeah, no. Nice. And I thought, you know what? But that's everything smooth. else. I was like, what would she forget? What would she need? But she, what would she want to have? And yeah. she would probably forget. And she did forget, I think, her perfume. Like, yeah. So I'm lucky I sent that to her. Smooth. And um, yeah, I sent that to her. And then she sent a, a postcard. You didn't see none of this, by the way. This no, no, no. Yeah, this, I didn't This didn't this. make the edit. So then she sent a postcard with, um, all, with, she kissed a bit of postcard saying, we've got this. We've wow. sat a lipstick on the, on the cards back to me. So that's the only communication me and her had before we got married. So there was a little bit of communication, yeah, but it's no, mad, but never seen it. It was each all other. mysterious, so it made me a bit more excited for it, which is quite That's cool. That's sick. 
Um, it must be exciting, man. It was. And then, like, the most nerve-wracking thing is, though, like, when you leave that room and you know you're going down to get married, is you have to walk past her family and friends. Yes, I remember seeing that. I'll be honest. Because like, her... I remember her, her sister's got blonde hair, right? Her sister, yeah. I yeah, remember Katie. her sister, and her sister was worried, obviously, about Jay. Yeah. You, but yeah, I remember this clearly, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I could hear him like all whispering and that, and I think her sister or someone said, oh, oh no, I don't think she's going to like him. <laughs> no. Like, because they heard my Essex accent, and yeah. it turns out Jay asked, said she doesn't want no one from Essex, no, no. one's worked in sales. <laughs> no. Like, she said she don't <laughs> want me. Fucking <laughs> experts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't want an Essex boy, will you, you get one? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shove that one in your pipe. No. <laughs> so, and then, obviously, Jay walked down the aisle. Yeah, Jay walked down the aisle, and do you know what? Like, you could have tell she was such a genuine person. Do you know when you look at someone, you just yeah. know, you just feel comfortable. Yeah. I just feel comfortable as soon as I saw her. And that's, I think, that's what I wanted. When, like, I was being asked before, and, like, what yeah. you're hoping for, I was, I just want to feel comfortable. Yeah. I want to be able to just be myself and not pretend to be someone I'm not. Yes. Because we've all, we've all been there in life where, all day long. where you think you've got to try and act Billy Big Bottles, you've got yeah. to, like, be in a club buying bottles when you can't even all, afford them. All like, done it. To, just because, like, you want to be someone you're not. Yeah. I'd, I thought, you know what, I want to meet someone where, I can just be Luke from Essex. Yeah. Luke the salesman from Essex. Do you know what I mean? That's all I wanted to be in. Yeah. Like when I saw her, I knew straight away I could I could be that. Yeah, yeah. Like she'd come across so warm and opening and welcome and Yeah, do you so do you still get on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. still hundred percent, hundred percent. I can't go into detail with her. No, of course. Still together or not. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I don't expect that. But do you know one thing I'd say, and I hope she watches this as well, Jay's my favourite. Yeah, honestly. And my bird. At honestly, every situation. She is. Brilliant. You know when, like, any situation you're yeah. in as a group of friends, whether it's a group yeah. of girls, group of boys, there's always a J. Yeah, you need yeah. that J. She's very, yeah. like, the mum almost of, like, yeah. when Ta I mean, when Tasha was kicking off, she was like, no, Tasha, calm down. She's yeah. not scared, and, but she holds it together so well. Yeah. Always, she just doesn't think, right, J, I love you, I think you're a blinder. Just put it yeah. out there. <laughs> Literally, I think she's and really I agree. Good. I actually agree. And Even the wedding onwards, like, yeah. it was just so natural yeah. because of that. Like, she just is, like, she is like a brush of fresh, like fresh air to Yeah, anyone. definitely. And do you know the best thing about it as well? Her confidence has grown so much. Yeah. Like, from being on math. Yeah, you like, see and that. And I think that was, that's probably the only thing she would even say that she was missing. Yeah. Like her confidence was Yeah. Growing. Even mean, though she was com she was confident. Yeah. It, like, and that's what I liked about her, like her confidence, especially about her arm. Like, she yeah. didn't let her phase her. Of but course. then her confidence needed bringing up. And yeah. I think the math's journey... Is something we've done that for her, and she yeah. honestly she's grown so much, and I'm actually so proud of her. For oh, that. that's nice, man. It's nice. Like I said, I think I think you can see that as a viewer, mm. like when she was first really like she was a bit um, at you, and if you did yeah. like her and things like that. And now you're watching when you're watching it, it's that's all disappearing. Yeah, like, she don't, yeah, she don't yeah, care. You can yeah. see it, it, it's it's confident. And and people say, no, it's nice how like Luke was like like basically bringing her up and stuff. Yeah. And I, but I was thinking. I wasn't doing it on purpose. It's just no, that's you every as a human should do. Any human should like treat someone yeah. as a per like anyone. Do Definitely, what I mean? it doesn't and, mean... but it is a it's a good skill to have that. And I think you, yeah. considering you didn't know each other, you got married. Even if if you did know each other and got married, that is what you do to your other yeah. to your wife. Like I've had, I'll be straight up with you for the last couple of weeks. I've had a bit of a wobble, like mm. just in myself, a few little things like yeah. don't really like how I look at the minute, want to get in the gym a bit more. Yeah. Typical men things, yeah. Mm. It's only small things. And so if it brings me up, get up yeah. every day. She's like, she's not in a horrible way. She doesn't say get down to the gym, you fat cunt. But she turns around and she says, like, go, <laughs> go to the gym. It's going to make you feel better. Like, because yeah. I'm a bit down and dumped mm. about it. She said, come on, we'll go together. We'll yeah. get up cooking dinner, we'll go and do a food shop. She's yeah. like, right, we'll go healthy. She's not going to buy the chocolates. We'll do this. Come on, we'll do better, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, and That's it's... what you need in a partner. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. And I think people don't, like, I don't, so I don't think everyone understands what a relationship is. Like, people no. just look at it like, oh, you have sex, you live together, yeah. you have a laugh, but no, you've got to be a team. Yeah. If you're not a team, it ain't going to work. Million percent. Um, and that's what me and Jay was, the whole way through that, we was a team. So I can't believe that they take your phone off you, right, at the start of the series, and you yeah. don't get it back. So how long, looking at time period-wise, how long from your wedding till you go on the honeymoon? It was the next day, the next morning, early I mean, hours. We was film quick. honestly, we was knackered, so we was filming, we didn't fi finish filming until about 2, 3 a.m. At the wedding? For the wedding in the hotel scene when we got back. And um, then all your family go and you don't see them again? We don't see them again after wow. we get in the car, yeah. And then um, oh, we had to get up at half four in the morning. We, was, and we didn't go get into the hotel until like half two, three. Yeah. Um, and then we had to get in the taxi to the honeymoon. 
She had an hour's kit, then it's on your honeymoon. Yeah, I literally, I fell asleep and then I had to bang on the door from one of the producers saying we've got to get wow. the taxi. I didn't realise it was in that quick succession. Oh, it's quick. Because obviously it's not, you watch your wedding and your honeymoon wasn't for another three or four eps because you was first wedding. Yeah, and that's it because um, our wedding was actually filmed second. So right. Ella and Nathaniel had the first, they was, got married on the 27th of Feb. Yeah. Me and Jay got married on the 28th of Feb. Yeah. Um, and then we flew out on the 29th. Yeah. Um, to Grenada. Yeah, that looked nice though. Oh, it was lovely. Looked good. Honestly, that hotel Again, was mad. But like, you could hear people like, oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, right. So I mean, like, anyone would do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, yeah, I you're... do think maths, you have to, you have to want to like find love, like find yeah. love in your life. Don't of give course. me. Yeah. And not, not me and no, none of the cast that this year or any year would have went on to maths if the TV wasn't involved. Yeah. And that's yeah. a fact. Yeah. But. Some of the cast went on mass for just solely TV. Yeah. Some of some of us cast went on majority. Of the reason we went on, like eighty percent of the reason, is to, to find, find love. the love, like to find someone. Yeah. Uh, but also the twenty percent to thirty percent. Obviously, you've got to think about like your status and what financial stuff you yeah. come from it. Because look, you're only human. We're driven by money. The whole country driven by money. I think, I think money and love are the two things yeah. people are driven by. I think you will always find in TV that there is always people that do it for certain reasons, yeah. people that do it for, for a bit of the fame, people that do it for this. It was always the way, I don't know if you remember back in the day, like watching Big Brother or yeah. I'm a Celebrity, and people would clock who was doing playing the games. Yeah. And they'd go, you're just a game player, you're just doing, yeah. it, this, just doing it for that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's always going to be that you're a bit of savvy, you, you do clock them people early doors, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's Obviously, I'm no veteran. I've been doing TV since 27. Someone like my bird who's done it mm. for 13 years, it's all my girlfriend's ever known. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. That's so it. She's, that's, yeah. she's a very good person for me to talk to yeah. and lay things onto, and she'll make things okay in your exactly, head. Exactly, yeah. Because people get, people, people can confuse the reality TV world with the real world. And it's oh. sort of like when that fully becomes your life, yeah. like Tao is a very real yeah. show, follows our lives. But when that fully, when you've got nothing else outside of that, it can be a bit of a dangerous yeah, spiral yeah, to be because yeah. it becomes 100%, your thing. 100%. Do you know what I mean? But I don't really know where I was going with that. No, but it's, it's, no, it's along true, them lines. I, think, I think the public as well, like the public don't realise that as much as this, the stuff what's said and done in these shows, mm. all, all reality this is as well. Yeah. As much as stuff as like what, what your actions are your actions. Yeah. But also you're put in situations what you might not have been in. Yeah, million percent. Do you know what I mean? So Always. Obviously, like it, it's not scripted at all. Reality is not scripted. No. No. But you are put in situations or put in front of people that you would have avoided in the yeah, first yeah. place. So you've had a row, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But it is reality because you had a row because you was in that position. Million percent. And um, it's, that is, that's the hardest bit about it. And that's the hardest bit for the public to grasp sometimes, yeah. I think. It'd be like, well, if you don't like this person, why, why are you, you doing this and why are you seeing yeah. them? Well, it's a TV show. You, do you know what I mean? You've, you've got, got to be put got, in that position because yeah. they want the drama. Exactly. Like. You've got to do that. So you've done that. You went on a honeymoon. Yep. And then... This is, I love this because I'm getting a proper insight to the whole <laughs> maths experience. Do you know what I mean? Because now I found my one, I know I can never do it, but yes, I want to know. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So then you go on your honeymoon, you come back, and then obviously, how quick from landing do you go straight to the apartment? Um, so we got put in a hotel on Wembley Way. Yes. Um, for two nights. Right. Well, no, but was it two nights? Or one or two nights anyway. It wasn't straight away. And then. I think they had to wait for a couple of other people to come off their honeymoons, basically. So you was in the hotel. We was in the hotel. And then that's before you go into your apartment. And you're still not allowed no phones. Not allowed. We're not allowed our phone. We're allowed, we had the burner yes. phone. If one is the first burner phone we got, it didn't work anyway. So we had no right. contact with pretty much anyone for the so first So what few days. are you what are you doing? Like you're allowed to go and use the gym, are you allowed to go and we can, yeah. out? We're not okay. At first we wasn't allowed out. Like we had um Katya, her name, she was lovely actually, her, yeah. her welfare. Um girl was looking after us, Kelly, yeah. and she kind of took us to Box Park actually. Nice. Um, one evening, which was nice of her. She didn't have to. Yeah. Took us to we had a few. We got absolutely smashed. I, yeah, I love Box Park. <laughs> Last time I went to Box Park, my pal was playing in the Charlton Sunderland League. Was it League One playoff final? I think. Yeah. And thirty of us went up there. He was a goalkeeper <laughs> at Charlton. Thirty of us went up there, pulled into the Box Park. But we had all been at We Are Festival the night before. Oh no. Like in Upminster. stuff. Yeah, yeah. All got in about five, six o'clock in the morning. Had to be at Upminster Station at nine o'clock yeah. to go up to watch this game, yeah. mate. That was a heavy weekend. But I love Box Park. And they won. It is good. So we're in the Box Park after. What a gaff. Well, that's where the apartment is. 
Yeah, I thought it was Wembley. So yeah, because so we didn't realise that's where the apartments were. So we was in a hotel up from my room. I could see my apartment. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't know it was our apartment. And you're all in the same block, right? In the same block. Can you just nip to each other's rooms? Yeah. Or? Oh, calm. Yeah, so we can Sweet. to each other's room. So that's why, like, you see, like, there's groups of people start to form, groups of friendships start to form. Yeah. You, start, you do start noticing that on when you watch it at the dinner yeah. parties. Like, people kind of back certain people. Other people kind of go against other people because they're not their kind of in yeah. the group, which is, like, natural. Like, yeah, yeah, That's, that's the most reality about it, actually. Definitely. And when you go and sit at the dinner party bit, do you, your names are always in different places. You have to find your name. Yeah. Well, you don't put them where you no, want to put so them. No, so the producers obviously... They know what they're, they're doing. They're clever. So, like, for example, like, they'll put... Say, like, have a row or say, like, me and whoever has, like, a bit of a disagreement during yeah. the week and they know, even if it's off camera, yeah. they'll know to put me opposite that person. Yes, because you can sense the awkwardness. Yeah, because they were like, okay, they, they know they're going to call each other yeah. a prick or something. Like, so it's definitely... It's clever. Yeah. It's it's a very... It's, oh, it's very well done. I'm not going to lie. Because you have all that... I was that the main thing for me is like, what I was seeing as well is the, the time frame in which what it's filmed. I can't can't believe that it's it's done as like a full what you're away for three months. Yeah, about that. Yeah, it is. And and you're away for three months and you did a whole lot like that. Yeah, you have to quit your job. Well, you don't have to, but if you can't no. get time, if you quit your job, like yeah. I quit my job. And what did you do before? Um, so I worked in sales. I was just like basically a salesman for a telecoms company. Would you? Yeah. And so you've have you stopped that now? Just to fuck so the money comes in. Do you know yeah, what I mean? of people, people think like you could do reality TV and then you start money, Mate, you're living rich. Caked. Bro, I've probably recently. got less in my bank account than probably most <laughs> people watching it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, but, mate, it is. Don't listen. Me and my bird have said that for years. It's like, as soon as you do that, people think, oh, it's all right for him, he's caked. But, oh. or she's all right, she's loaded. No, it's, 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 it's you've still, got to take, still a job. Make money somewhere, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and you still have to work. I listen. lost money going on it. Yeah, my, don't, I can't lie. My, my salary before was a pretty good salary, and then yeah. I quit that. And then they they paid you um, something like loss of earnings. Yeah, but they it only covered probably about 60, 70 yeah, percent of yeah. my wage. Yeah, um, so that's good that they do that. Though. So they pay me. I gotta pay my bills at home. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, covered that. But some course. people had it decent. They could just quit their job and they're getting paid the full wage. What yeah, getting, of course. Yeah, that's good. That um, is good. That's why. But that's why, if I'm honest with you, Luke, that's why I'd never give up my cutting air. Yeah. I've cut air from 17 years old yeah. and will always carry on doing it because TV can end like that. It, yeah. it ended for me like that in 2017 yeah. when um, yeah, when I, I got let go from TOWIE. Then I went and filmed The Voice. Mm. I, 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 I sung on The Voice. Then I got, got rejected from that and it was sort of like another kick in the bollocks and you think, and it ends. But all through yeah. that, I'm my clientele that I've had for all them years and just carried Stop, on yeah, cutting hair, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm glad I learned how to cut hair and carried it on. And I don't think I'll ever stop. I think my career will, will always progress in the hair industry. Yeah. I will always do the TV. I, I love doing it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm doing, I do tell I'm doing Geordie Shaw and my bird, which was an experience. Going to get wrapped around all that lot, Fuck do you know what I mean? Up. Being from where we're from. So it's, that's there, but I still love the, the, in the roots yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of, of I, mean, I think that's it. You've always got something, like, have that, you yeah. know what you're good at, do you know what I mean? If you have what you're saying you're good at, yeah. like every man's got a niche. Yeah, of course. Mean? And some, some so it's your don't even sales, know you're always done sales. Like, I love, and do you know what it is? I'm a qualified plumber. Aren't you? But I, I'd give up. As soon as I qualified, I was like, I don't want it. I don't want to do, want to do it. Because I don't but talk to people. But at least you've got a trade. I don't talk to people. So like in, when you plumb. When you plumb, yeah, you're true, stuck in a yeah. cupboard or stuck in a bathroom. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be, I want to be talking to someone yeah, all day, yeah. every day. Do you know what I mean? You should have so, been a barber. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, should have been. You should learn how to cut hair. <laughs> We're not in training school. Point. We're not in training school one day, mate. Yeah, Come that down. Be the next podcast. Yeah, nice. Welcome yeah. to the training Training school. Luke how to cut hair. we have to get get JJ in on Saturday. Yeah, oh, JJ's great. Yeah. Honestly. So I've actually known John Joe for mm. years from being in Brentwood. Yeah. Well, the yeah. vine was the gaff to go when I was like, car, from the age of 18 up to. Did you, did you ever go down there? No, no, I didn't. I was mad, no. we never crossed paths, but I was out in Brentwood, mate, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Sugar up when that was obviously in its yeah. full prime. But then the vine opened, and John Joe used to run it, and then one of his pals owned it. So we used to see him every weekend, always. Yeah. And I. Thank I you. got an inkling. I actually got told that John Joe was going on maths car March or, or thingy just by just oh, by right. someone in the thing said apparently this geezer called John Joe and I was like John Joe Slater and I was like oh I uh, don't know don't know they didn't know his last mm. name and yeah. then obviously I see him walk on I was like wow but yeah, I watched yeah. all the first eight weddings and he weren't in it no, I thought I oh, must have they must have got it wrong and then obviously see the advert see him bowing down here he comes. <laughs> So did you get on with him? Yeah, me and him got on really well. Yeah, yeah. Me and him and Thomas stuff. since the show have like we got on the most. Yeah, see Thomas was a good one. Thomas yeah. and he's like he hasn't changed as a person, but he's grown. Mad come out of his shell. Like, 100 percent And he's wham now as well. Yeah, oh is it? Yeah, my stepbrother said that to me mm. the other day. 
said he's been following him and said he's been training hard. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. He just he can eat anything, mate, and it just yeah, doesn't yeah. go to it. I mate. hate people like that. He hits the gym, his arms are like the size of my head. I hate people like that. I have to look at a cheesecake, mate, and I just <laughs> put on, mate, you know what I mean? But I, um, yeah, so they're, they're your, would you say they're your two yeah. closest And then, and then Terence as well. Terence, I like Terence. He's got his own, he's, he does his own stuff, Joe. Yeah. He's like a DJ. Nah, he does his, his own stuff. was our work. Oh, mate, poor <laughs> stuff. She's, <laughs> trust. <laughs> if she was at the end, I would have, that honeymoon, I would have got the flight home, mate. <laughs> oh, that was that. I would have been out of there. <laughs> oh, no. He got the short straw. I'm telling you that. <laughs> when did he call it? Childish. Class. And then she started Class. kicking off like a child. Class. The disdain. <laughs> The disdain. The disdain. That oh was how it is. I was cracking up. Uh, it's been a great show, but obviously positives wise, you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Look, yeah. there's certain situations and obviously me and Jordan. Yeah, um, so listen. Good times. Yeah. You've enjoyed it. But yeah. then dinner parties, what I've been seeing, I've been getting a little bit Trust heated. me. Look, I'll be honest. I'm opinionated. Some people, I'm like Marmite, I think, with some people. Yeah. People started, they loved me at first. Like, yeah. Like, watching it. Then some, they'll turn a bit like Marmite because I don't hold back. And no. that's something I'm actually proud of. And I, I know I know it can cause stir. I get yeah. that. But also I know if I don't say something, it's going to eat me inside. Yeah. So I've got to get it out there. Do you know what I mean? I don't never do yeah. nothing maliciously. No. Like, for example, I touched on the Laura thing at first. Like when I called her a gold dick or when I apparently called her a gold so dick. So I was watching that episode and I thought, wow, this kid, about you. Yeah. I've always liked you, thought it was brilliant. I was watching thinking, wow, this kid, I think he needs TV gold. I just don't he care. does not give a fuck. No, I don't give a fuck because yeah. the thing is, and I never said she was a gold digger. No. I said she's coming across as a gold digger. Right, I see. The, 80% of the people at home watching yeah. said the same thing on Twitter. Do you know what I mean? You, like, you, you do only think can that. Say when you think you... of Mayfair and Chelsea and you think of that, that is the vision you get. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying we, you do think that of her, but I think as a, a stereotype, you do think of exactly. Chelsea. Compared exactly. to us, we're... Do you know what I mean? We're from, you're from Cracton, I'm from Romford. Yeah. Like... It, that's not Mayfair and Chelsea. I'm yeah, not slagging yeah, Cracton no, off, no, by the no, way. Don't get out of me. No, but yeah, slag it off, mate. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. But do you know what I mean? So that it is. So mm. you got? did you get grilled for that? I'll be honest. It's like, I felt sorry for Laura after because if I'm honest, and I've, I've said this before, before, and me and Laura actually get on now, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, I think she wanted, or either the producers told her to play, that, betray that yeah. character, or she wanted to betray that like yeah. character. Um, and I think when that when I made that comment and other people, I, by the way, I wasn't the only one that said that. No, no, no. I was the only one that was shown. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna drop um, who the hell said it? I pretty much loads of people did. Like George, <laughs> George me and George had the conversation. Yeah, like, yeah. And George. Because he. Like George is, yeah, yeah, so it's actually George. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah when people say that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he started screaming in French, I was like, what is going on? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so like. George like said it like Laura and George had a um a conversation that same dinner party yeah. about it. they didn't obviously show that they have obviously they've got a narrative don't they they want to show um certain things and of course I think I did feel sorry for Laura because like speaking to her since they were I think she was telling me like that they, the producers and whoever was like or people um higher up was pushing the Chelsea narrative on her yeah 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 um because she hung out in Chelsea a bit. I think and she. One yeah. of her ex is, is on Made in Chelsea or something. Oh, really? Um, I think she has. I think she's done well throughout the series. Yeah, she's grown. Yeah, she's grown. Grown, like, you're warm to her more, do you yeah, know what I mean? And Arthur, with, like, I like Arthur actually. Oh, Arthur's joke. Arthur's I like joke. He is jokes. Really funny. Yeah. Really, really funny. Because it's Arthur's birthday actually this weekend. Yeah, yeah I'll see like, that on your Insta. Where'd you go? Um, we went that Caboo, it's only just opened, and then we went um, Libertines after. Nice, like Libertine. Oh, mate, this I've, had right out, mate. I've had some heavy nights in Libertine. Oh, oh. I was fucking jumping my legs. I don't know if I can what I was doing in there. You but... weren't doing a worm in that, was you? Fuck knows. Oh, don't. <laughs> right, so talk to me about what's coming up. What's the juicy oh. goss of what's coming up with. His name's Jordan, isn't Jordan, it? yeah. It's really affecting me that his name's Jordan, you don't like him. I know, do you know what I mean? Jordan. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Do you know what? Not all Jordans could be good, do you know what I mean? Some of them are cunts. <laughs> well, I've seen it like, I've seen a little bit on Insta, yeah. going backwards and forwards, but I want to know be honest, right? your I'll, story. I'll, I'll start, for, I'll start from, the, from the top. So, Jordan come in and like, I actually, me and Jay were the first ones to kind of give Jordan and Erica a bit of advice. We and the time of day. It's very yeah, hard coming in as a day, newbie. It's very hard day. coming in as a newbie, I think. Exactly. Me and Jay actually really like try to give him a bit of support when they first come in. And you can even see like, like Jay is friends with Tasha and Ella. How are you going to get? Yeah. So I was like, I was a bit, this kid's in here to wind people up. Yeah. I was, he's, he's come in as yeah. a, as like a, 
like a latecomer purposely to stir the pot. Yeah. So, and when that dinner party come, obviously me and um, JJ are fr- like friends anyway. He's from Essex. He come in. I thought, oh, yeah. we're going to support each other. Isn't it funny that everyone from Essex gravitates towards each other? Joel, you've got to, though, because the thing is, us Essex guys get such a bad name. Yeah, yeah. Because people like JJ cheaters. No, yes. I don't care. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Like Essex boys get such a bad like name, and it's yeah. like it sticks as well. So I think you just we just automatically stick together. But that wasn't the actual point I was making in there. No. So, but so he said he was in have rows. He's going to get you there. Yeah. So yeah. So then when that dinner party come, and I saw him, he was by the way you didn't see all this, but he was in Bianca's ear for like twenty minutes before that even kicked off, trying to say, look, oh, do you know what's happened? Do you know what they talked about at the end, whispering about like saying all these things to Bianca. Right. When JJ hasn't even spoke to him, but I was in a yeah. holding room. We get put in a holding room before the yeah. dinner party. Yeah. I was in a holding room next door to JJ, so I'd spoke to JJ just before the dinner party. Mm. And he was like, right, I'm going to pull Bianca for a chat and like, explain, like, obviously, it's not working. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, just tell her straight, like, it's not working and yeah. he doesn't think it's going to work, and etc. Because JJ had to spend two days away from Bianca. Because it's JJ's mental health, I'm honest. Yeah, I, I did yeah, yeah. ask him, I can talk yeah, about it. He's been honest about that. I've seen that on his Instagram. Yeah. He's been honest about that. Like you know He was I mean? struggling with his mental health and the welfare and the psychologist, I believe, told him to take two days away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason that he took two days away from Bianca. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. The cast knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jordan knew that. But it didn't really get portrayed like that. No. So when, obviously, Jordan's in Bianca's ear, that's when I... If he had had the opportunity to say it to her, then... He like, would have like yeah. pe- people. I get what people are saying. They could have sent the text. Could have not listened to the producers and all that into the text. Yeah, we could have. Fair play. I agree with that. And I don't condone cheating. If people class what he done as cheating, yeah, I don't condone it. But on the other hand, he didn't get given a first a fair shot at talking to her as much as what the viewers mm. see. And Jordan knew that. And Jordan knew he was struggling. Uh, Jordan mm. knew that JJ was struggling. So for then for then Jordan to try and chuck him under the bus or try and cause a bit of drama yeah. which I'd already heard him say he knows he has to cause drama to get a, get the airtime yeah I knew what he was doing he had an agenda yeah so that's what got my back up um, well then you know there, there it is do you exactly. know what I mean if you've heard that so he just said it to George so I think he said it to I think he said it to George or, or yeah. it might, might have even been Arthur actually yeah it was one of the boys anyway so that was then that situation with then that was that was that one I just see. That was the last one I've seen. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the last one um, you would have seen. So then, obviously, after that point, that all kicked so off. So Nathaniel's gone. So Nathaniel's gone. So actually, can I touch on the same first? Because I want to clear something up. So in that moment, I said, um, like, if a man's under so much pressure that he's got Ella on her, on him, on him, on him, on him, yeah. it's only only so much pressure when you're not getting on with your wife before you crack. Yeah, yeah. What I meant by that, it wasn't crack till you cheat. No, no, no. I mean crack as in your mental health gets affected yeah. and you need some time out. Cause, and that's why I was talking about he's two days apart. Yes. So some people like who've watched it have thought, oh, no, he's condoning cheating. And he's no, saying, no, no. the more the pressure you get from a attractive woman, you're yeah. going to cheat. No, I wasn't saying that. I was saying the, more, the pressure in that situation Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Understood. So I just wanted to clear that one up because of course. I think people, some people understood that. Some people watched. Some people jumped and thought you said it was right to go and yeah. check someone else. And if they know me, yeah. they know I've never cheated in my life. Yeah. And I never would cheat. Yeah, yeah. But I've never even been cheated on that. I know of. To be fair. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, but anyway, yeah. So after that dinner party, like Nathaniel goes, we all expect Nathaniel to like, like normally when you leave or you like get yeah. off, like you're you're at the hotel or the the apartments for. That one more night, and then you go the next day. He's gone. He was when we got back. He wow. was not there. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't there. So wow. like, no one even got to say goodbye to him. Like I actually liked them both individually. Yeah. Um, they had their moments where they was both like a bit diva-ish, Let's be honest. Yeah, like, yeah. But look, some people, everyone is at some point. Do you know what I mean? Like, of course. It's, it's part of them, and I actually do respect both of them. To be fair. Yeah. Um, and one thing I don't condone is that the amount of, um like abuse Ella's got mm. like, like like transphobic abuse like she's yeah. got like it's, it's d- never just on. off the back of a show it's never on no matter oh, what you're, talking about, are, you're talking about trolls on social media trolls and, and like that. that yeah honestly yeah. I've seen some disgusting stuff like and look even if you don't agree with like any like the trans like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just don't talk about it but like, it's, you don't have to but like, it's when people start to go personal you know 100% but it's not, it's unfortunately right. we're stuck in this we are stuck in this roundabout yeah, yeah? I've been in it for a fucking long time where People yeah. are going to say what they want. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. All and, the time. And I'm all for opinions. Yeah. I think there's look. There's opinions. What's good for a group chat? Yeah. And there's opinions. What are not good? Well, are good for yeah. what you can say outside of a group chat. Yeah. If you think, for, oh, can I say this yeah. to someone and not get cancelled for it? No. Then you can say it. If you think you're not cancelled for it, do not say it. But as a as a human being, yeah. Yeah. Think about think about how. 
and do that oh, show yeah, in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and she has, she has yeah. full blown give that her everything. 100%. But then, then people just start saying, them Thing where we're never going to stop it. Right. Unfortunately, we're going to try. And, that's the and, thing. and me and you can sit here and say it, and Ella can sit and say it. I know she's come off Instagram, isn't she? Which is yeah, she's which is horrible. Apart, like, like, you know what I mean? like it's mad. You know, we don't want people to do that. No. You know, it's, it's people have got to stop doing that. But yeah, but yeah, hate, hate needs to stop. But look, there's always going to be haters. But I always say, if someone's hating online. Yeah. That means they haven't got enough friends to have a group exactly. chat to hate you. You have to be mentally strong enough to remember that they're sat in a little room somewhere typing on a keyboard. 100%. You know what I mean? It's um, like, yeah, you're always going to get it. So, Ella and Nathaniel, obviously, is, it was no more. We all see that on Yeah, it was no more, yeah. Maths. That ended, that was done. Yeah. But obviously now, yeah. I, want, I want a little bit of juicy goss that's not out. What, okay. what goes on? What, so, what goes on, yeah. Well, because... <laughs> So, oh, so Ella stays up with you. <laughs> so, Ella and um, JJ are back, back in the process together. Yeah, that, so, they get allowed back So, in. Bianca leaves. Bianca leaves. Right. So, Bianca's gone. Like, yeah. and I, do you know what? I feel, I feel for Bianca. Bianca's yeah, yeah. actually a sweet girl. Yeah. Her and JJ just were really not well matched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's more down to the which, by the way, are not the experts. No, the no. experts don't match make us, so yeah, yeah. like, that isn't yeah. what actually happened. Of course. Um, we're, match made, we're match made initially by casting producers mm. and by the psychology um, results. Do and you think, do you think, us. now this is, you ain't got answers, you don't want it, this is a bit, of a bit of a question. Do you think JJ should have been honest straight away and been like, listen, this well, ain't uh, for me. Right, okay. Because the longer, we've all been in a situation when you date a bird, right, yeah? Not at all. I'll tell you now, if JJ, right, put it this way, if yeah. JJ, the first time he met, met her and goes, give up straight away, they'd be like, you haven't even given it a chance. Yeah. And he, he was as honest as possible. He was like, she's not, as soon as a man or a woman says they're not my typical type, that mm. means you're not actually initially attracted to that person. Yeah. That's what you're saying in a polite way. You can't, yeah. if I say you're not attractive to me, yeah. that's brutal. You, look, and then yeah. get, he would have been more hated by yeah, saying yeah. that. True. So he was as honest as he possibly could yeah. without trying to hurt someone. So you've, yes. got to, you've got to admire that from the guy. And listen, I mean? you never go out actively to try and hurt someone's feelings. No, you know what exactly. I mean? And look, you're both putting a... If Bianca had said the same thing about JJ, would would everyone be up in arms? Yeah, yeah. They probably wouldn't. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But it's because Bianca's sweet. Do you know what I mean? Of course. Like, because Bianca's sweet and like she is like, very... like. She was, yeah, she's she, a nice girl, yeah. You, can, she, like, you look watch her and like, you can't help but like her. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And she is. She's like that in real life. You can't S- help but like the girl. So let's play a little game. Go on. Right? You've got to rank the m- maths cast yeah in couples yeah, yeah. <laughs> include yourself and jay yeah because you've done this on there yeah but this must have been time ago yeah yeah now on. how you feel today i want couples from top who's the best married look like wifey husband and wifey goals who is the who are the, who are the, who are the, who are the um worst what i'll do i'll talk about because i don't want to give away who's together and who's not no i'll talk about talk about every couple as if they're still together as if they're still together okay every cool, couple cool, as if cool, they're still cool. together okay so i'd say number look I'm um, so intrigued as to where you're going to put yourself. <laughs> um, number one, I'm going to put... Oh, who, so who would look the, the best The best match? couple. The best couple. Number one, my number one is Thomas and Roz. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because that had a rocky be real. start. And I, do you know what I said? The funny thing is, and the reason I say this is because I've backed them from the day one. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I said to like even my boxer, like the interviews and stuff, like behind the scenes, I was like... They are the best match. Yeah. People, even the producers were like, you think? I was like, look, keep watching them. They're going to grow. Yeah, and nice. They, they did start growing. And like, so they're my number one. Nice. Number two is me and Jay. Yeah, I'd, I would put you up there. I'm not just saying it because you're along with, Along with um, Paul and Tasha. Paul and Tasha, yes. Yeah, like, we're, very they're good. They're like on par. I mean, me, I would put us three at the top. Like, I was surprised three. that Tasha flipping at, um, what's her name? Um, Erica. We'll come on I'll, to that. We'll yeah, talk about that. Actually. We'll I talk was about surprised. That. But I like them too. Love Paul. Yeah, Paul Paul's, is a geezer for me. He's so chill. If your daughter bought him home, you'd be buzzing because yeah, he's yeah, the yeah, nicest yeah, geezer. Yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? That's what he's yeah, like. If it, if it can't be me, it can be Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't bring my daughter home. <laughs> uh, so go on then. Yeah, so I'd say us three at the top, like Thomas Roz, uh, me, Jay, and Paul and Tash at the top. Nice. And then I would say... Oh, Come on, this is good. This is where it gets good. Okay, so after that... God, do you know what? There's some fake couples though. That's the thing. And I, I, I don't want to put a fake couple, even though like I think they could be better than some of the non-fake couples. But so after that, so in fourth place, 
Who else? I fucking forgot who the, forgot who the cast were now. <laughs> <laughs> They're that irrelevant, half of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pulling your leg. No, um, so I would probably say... Ooh. Peggy and George. Yeah. So they're but fifth. I'll be real, look, I'm going to say this is going to be controversial because I actually love Peggy, I love George. But not together. Um, I can't say a lot, but... No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but, look, I'll be honest, and we're both going to watch this, and I, I just don't think this is something not right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is it but, anything to do with his squatting video just gone viral? Oh, no, 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 no. There's, that, there's something not right. That like, video just gone viral of him squatting. You remember when I was brought up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. seen it yeah, doing yeah, the rounds. Yeah. I it's think just, it's hilarious. Yeah, it's not even bad. I'm There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you're having a bit of banter. Do you know what I mean? If he's getting paid for squatting online, he's fucking. Yeah, of course. Cool. He's cleverer than us. Do you know what I mean? Mate? <laughs> I'm standing with twelve hours a day cutting hair. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, I put Peggy and George. But even though there's some, like I love you both guys, but there's something not right there. Right. And I think I don't know what it is, and I don't know if one of you are being fake and or mm. and one of you are not or. Or it, you're just not compatible, but you're really trying to make yourself compatible. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's like not right, but that's just my honest opinion. I'm yeah. just sometimes too honest, so I've offended yeah. you. Who cares? <laughs> Nothing new to you being too honest. Who cares? Right? <laughs> no, it is what it is. But um, cool. and then I would say, who else we got? Um, We've got the new couples. They've just come in. Uh, mm, okay. You got the Ge- I, the Geordie fella. I'd probably put. The big lump who walked in. I'll probably put Erica and Jordan. Yes. Even though they've I think Jordan is a fucking knobhead. <laughs> but I actually like Erica. And Eric, yeah. the only reason I put him in that place and I put him in high is because because Erica is actually a really nice She's sound flying girl. the flag there. She's a really nice sound girl, yeah. And I think she she brings she makes she's making Jordan a better person. Is it working? Slowly but surely. Is it working? No, look, what I'm saying, she 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 tries to put Jordan on the straight and narrow like throughout the whole process. You don't really get to see it. Yeah. But I take my hat off to her because she does try to help make Jordan grow. Does and it? I see that. In, the, do you know, like, in a couple, when someone's not like, not the greatest person. Yeah. And I'm they haven't enough. like, I don't know, they just, they go around things differently. Yeah. Okay. It's in a couple, like you have to have someone who kind of brings you up a bit and kind of put you on a straight and narrow. And, yeah. and Erica's good for Jordan in that way. Yeah. Um, I do think Jordan brings her down. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but they, they would be higher up, actually. But also, Jordan's done some naughty things. Yeah, that's yeah. going to come out soon. Are you going to spill the tea? I'm, no, I'm going to spill the tea. The trust. In air, then it won't be air. You, put this, all I can say, right? If you, if people Give think, me the goss. Give if, me what If people on. think. That Jordan is this nice guy that sticks up for girls being cheated on. Yeah. He's chucking stones in glass houses, I'm telling you. Bad. Because, like, pff, yeah, look. All I'm saying is he, yeah, he thinks his shit don't stink. Like, yeah. honestly, he's done worse. On the show? Really? You're not allowed to say? I can't say. On or off the show. Really? But it's, it's happened? Trust, it's trust that stuff's happened. And like, I, just sort of can, I can see through him the second I met him, I'll be honest, and that's why me and him clashed. Um, and he's quite, the way he went around, while he was around stuff, he, he plans to upset people for airtime. And he, but he does it in a clever way where he sometimes might come across that like he's trying to help someone or yeah. be nice to someone or kind of stick up for someone. So he's not as far as, does it. as far as the married person that goes, you can't stand him? I can't stand him. And it's, that's done, friendship done. Oh, well, I mean, it will never get on, do you know what I mean? And like, I'll be honest, obviously we... We, the, the, we have a fight. Obviously, you haven't seen the episode yet because right. we're filming this now, but yeah. by the time this comes out, that yeah. episode would have come out that yeah, night. Yeah, so yeah. we can talk about that. So obviously, I'll tell you about that. So we went to the retreat. Yes. This is how I know he's a scumbag. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, put, you love... Put my scissors down. Like, everyone loves Jay. Like, even if they don't yeah. like me, everyone loves Jay. Million and percent. if you upset Jay, like, you, you, you must be a scumbag. Yeah. So what happens is there's a boys' day at the retreat one day. Right. So me and Jay had a bit of a disagreement like the week before, and the question was at the boys' day, like what's what's gone well, what hasn't gone so well. And yeah. And we said, look, we had a bit of a like a bit of a it wasn't even an argument, we had a bit of a bicker that yeah. week, and it's because I'm as couples do. Yeah. And I t- and I'll tell you why I done it. And I was yeah. I was actually quite I was quite to blame for it because I used a terrible example. Like I said she is a bit of a people pleaser, right. and like I don't really want her to be because I like. At the moment, I was saying this to like one of the guys, uh, George. Yeah. 
I said, at the moment, like, it feels like I go to a bar, yeah. get a girl's number, come home, say I got it as a joke to her, and she'd be like, That's oh, cool with it. Terrible example. And it was, a, do you know what? <laughs> it is, it is a bad example because if I'm honest, that isn't something, that isn't something I would do anyway. It's so funny as a man because you know you say something and now you look at it and you think, why did I use that example? Uh, Joe, Joe Weiss used it because I was telling George the example. So I right. understood he would get that because he's yes. like Playboy, yes. talks about tits. Get it. Like, so I, get I understood, it. I thought he would, under, that's, I'm trying to make him understand yes. where I was coming from. Right. So I was talking to George about it. Right. So hence the reason I used that example, yeah. which I sh- it was a stupid example. Yeah. Which I know. Fair play, hand, you tell James. Up. Up. That was, I shouldn't use it. Yeah. I should have said, oh, she, I feel I can get away with murder. Basically, that's what I should have yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted on. to just go, right, I said the fucking wrong thing. <laughs> Classic, like, yeah. Um. So yeah, so then obviously I told, I was honest with her and told her I said that. Right. I was like, look, I said this, and I knew, and I said, look, I did say that. Yeah. And she was like, why you said that? Like, that's bad. I was like, yeah. I don't want, that, I don't want to be that hierarchy. I want we to, yeah. to be equal. Like. It's like I want to go here. Okay, I want to do this. Okay, I want to yeah. do this. Okay. Not like. Do you know what I mean? Can you not do this? Like, I want to do this. Yeah. Bit exactly, of authority. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Got it. Look, don't be wrong. I like a girl like kind of yeah. wears the trousers a bit. Yeah. I don't course. know what it is. I get that. I get um, that. So. I said that, made that bad example, which I know, hand, hold her hands up. Yeah, yeah. So at the boys' day, like, I was saying, look, me and Jay had this discussion, like, yeah. we squash it now. Like, I said this was a terrible example, like, repeated that example. Yeah. Um, and I said, like, look, I'm, now I realise me and Jay like, had a really, really good chat. Like, she's a great, like, I absolutely, like, adore her. Yeah. Like, and I'm, I'm glad. No, I didn't. I didn't. Like, nearly, I nearly. Um, <laughs> and then um, I said, look, and we've, we've squashed it. Like, yeah. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we spoke about it, because now I understand that she's not a like people yes. pleaser because I understand that she just doesn't like sharing her emotions and that's why perfect I yeah like that. sounds then, bang on and I said because let's be honest like, no one, none of us wants someone who lets us get away with murder no because like, like, I said let's face it boys if you could rob a bank and get 10 million quid and get away with it yeah. you would yeah, 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 and yeah. all the boys were like yeah 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 yeah. there has to be like that, that, that respect line there there is exactly I mean, yeah, yeah so yeah and because I said that comment I said look I'm glad she hasn't and if if like she had been I wouldn't have been happy with her being a people pleaser because if some if you rob a bank get away with it, you would. And then I had to, I went to the dinner party was the next day. Right. Jordan obviously took This the boys' day, Jordan is there. Jordan's at this boys' day. Yeah. So the dinner party like was the next day and I had to get rushed to hospital for my high blood pressure. No way. I, I leave the dinner party, but they had to like, they had they made out that I was just going to bed, but I had to go to hospital. My blood right. pressure was like stroke territory. Is that because you've always suffered with that? Is that you've um, not, not before the show. The stress no. from the show. Right. Like, it's caused, yeah, I'm on yeah. tablets now because of the show. Because Blimey. of the stress from it, it's like caused blood pressure to be fucked. Blimey. Um, but yeah, so I've got to have tablets the rest of my life for that. But anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what the show done to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so at the dinner party, like, I was there. I had, I had to leave early. Yeah. As soon as I left, this is what Jay was telling me. Obviously, I haven't even seen this back yet. But no. as soon as I left, Jay goes... Basically, Jordan was saying that. Um, basically, Jordan twisted it. I was saying I had said that if I can cheat and get away with it, I'm gonna with Jay. He says that round the table to yeah, everyone. No, to, to Jay. To try Just make, Jay, or the to, quiet ones. No one else can. Yeah, yeah. Like, said, well, I think like someone said something, and he said that yeah, like, basically yeah. made sure as like, just as I went. So as a man's man, he's dropped you in it. Well, the table, not not even dropped me in it. He's twisted it because I've, yeah, I've yeah, said yeah. like I'm glad she wouldn't. It's true. Not even dropped you in it. Like, he's, he's he's yeah. I've misheard me and then tried to quote something I've said, which. In the wrong way, or he's misinterpreted what I've said. Either way, you out of context, yeah, out of context, yeah. he's like basically said something totally out of context yeah. to Jay, made her cry, like made her upset. She leaves the dinner party like in tears, all kicks off. Um, while she's vulnerable on her own, by the way, about her husband, oh he God. waited for me to go because he knew that oh he wouldn't have said that when we've been not being there. Purposely, knowing he's going to cause drama, yeah, because I'm not there, so she was an easy target to pick on. So he's digging himself a hole. What was his missus then? What is he I don't know because I wasn't there. Do you know what I mean? So no. then, obviously, I come home from hospital quite late. Jay's not at home. I'm back at the apartment, like, like the apartment in the um, the apartment you share. The, yeah, not the apartment at home, home because we was away on the retreat. Yeah. But in the right. retreat hotel, yeah. she wasn't there. So I had the producers. I was kicking off at this point. I was like, "Where's Jay? Where's like worrying about her?" They was yeah, like, "Oh, she's not feeling well." I was like, "And I knew the producer." I was like, "You're chatting shit to me." Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. "Either tell me the fucking truth now." You got that little now. phone? Can you not text her? Um, no, her phone was going to voicemail. Oh god! I was like. I want to fucking see me to even do an exit shot. Yeah, they was yeah. like, no, 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 no. I was like, that. and then George come in with Peggy that was like sharing like the same sort of apartment. Yeah. Um, and I was like, what the fuck's happened? And they, um, George was like, uh, no, Peggy was like, that some stuff was said. 
um, Jordan has said that you like if you can cheat on her and get away with it, you could. And, oh, and Jor- Jordan was like, you were saying she was a walkover. That like, you're she's just did a walkover and she's like still a <sighs> yes yes man. Even though I made sure I said I don't think she's a um, she's a walkover anymore because we've squashed it. And you're not there, none and I'm not there. No. So she weren't there. So obviously I'm fucking fuming. Like yeah, my blood, if you, if my blood pressure was high at that point. <laughs> mate, trust me, I was like going red. I look like like honestly, I was about to pop. Wow. And, uh, so I'm kicking off. Then obviously. That's it. We go to bed, sleep separate rooms, yeah. and um, the next day she comes home. Like she comes back, and yeah. Like, yeah, like she comes in, and I'm like, "Where have you been?" Obviously, I'm a bit annoyed with her. So she's fuming as well. with you. She's fuming me. I'm annoyed with her because we did agree at the start of the. This one thing we actually agreed off camera was like, if we ever feel we have to sh- like go spend the night away yeah. from each other. It's over in the, it's over for us yeah, in yeah, maths yeah. because that isn't what I'm about. I'm the sort no. of guy. Like if I have a break and all that, I don't agree yeah. with all that. If, yeah. if I have a misses, I don't go to bed after yeah, a round. Yeah. We, we squash it and we go to bed. Go to bed, wake up, I mean? happy, wake up, happy, hundred percent. Sweet. And that's what I'm about. And I said that to her. She knew the boundaries, and she, that was her. But so that was the same thing with her. Yeah. So yeah. I was a bit annoyed, and but then I just got. I'll I be bet honest, you didn't sleep that night, did you? I it's hardly slept a wink, and yeah, I woke up. In the, well, I woke up after about two hours sleep. Yeah, yeah. And we had us like filmed a scene like with her coming back and like, talking to me about it. Honestly, she just burst out crying. I was like, I've just yeah, honestly yeah, like they're, happens, they're, yeah. they're, they're trying to ruin, ruin my relationship. It and like Who, Jordan's trying to ruin your relationship. Jo- yeah, hun- yeah, yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And Jordan weren't the only one, by the way. He was the instigator in it. Yeah. Um, and he obviously, like I say, because I've t- he told people before yeah. that he knows how to get on on screen it's by all causing drama. You, you're like I know exactly what he's doing. He's yeah, purposely yeah. done this. But trust me, if someone upsets my missus, they're gonna get a slap. Yeah, that happens yeah, yeah, in yeah. everyday life, down yeah. the pub, on TV or not. Yeah, yeah. Make my missus cry, you're getting a slap. Full stop. Yeah, yeah. Um, and hundred percent. Like there was no need to upset you, missus. Hundred percent. Yeah. And d- if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna call me out, do it while I'm there. Yeah. So then I can actually tell her the true story. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Or maybe, or maybe question you. Maybe come and say to you, like, do you think that's right? Oh, 100%. You know I mean? Yeah, man yeah, 100%. Man have a conversation, maybe. 100%. Yeah. And look, then obviously after that, <laughs> we like, it just went, tits up, went a bit tits up for the next couple of days. And then we had a down day the next day. We got back to the normal apartments yeah, after yeah, retreat. Yeah. We had a down day. And they, me and Jay really made up at that point. Yeah, off, yeah, ca- off camera, by the way. And, like I said, but they made us. They made us kind of like have a chat on camera, yeah, so they can yeah, kind yeah. of make it make sense for the audience. Yeah, it like, has to make sense to the viewer. It yeah, wasn't fake, yeah, because we still had an actual. We still spoke about stuff that we didn't speak about off camera. Yeah, as well, of course, like, of course. But we kind of make up for it, and we made up, and then they was like, the producer was like, "Oh, well, you can confront Jordan now if you want." At that point, I was like, "I'm." You can confront Jordan about now if you want, like about it. Um, I was like. Uh, at first, I was like... Mm. On camera? On camera. Yeah, like, yeah, I was like, okay, I was like, at first... Yeah, like, I, can, I can have a chat with him at any time. Of course. Um, and then, obviously, there was there was people who might... Was, I, I can't say too much, but... Nah, I, don't, nah, nah. I don't want to, like, tarnish, like, certain people. People in my ear going, look, don't forget, like, if... Like, I, you're not going to look like a real man, like, if you're going to let someone get away with, like, upsetting you missed oh, out on boy, TV yeah. and all that. Like, there's like in my ear saying all that sort of stuff. So I was getting fucking yeah, pissed yeah. off. I was like back in the mind frame. My <laughs> blood pressure is high again. Do you know what I mean? I was like, where are my blood pressure tablets at? Like one of these guys. <laughs> so I was like, right, come let's, let's come and see Jordan then. So obviously, like, I assume Jordan knew there was a camera crew like like coming down with me. Yeah. Um, like, so I was like, went down there. I was at this point fuming. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like, bang, bang, bang on his door. No. Uh, so you're gonna, you haven't seen this episode yet. So you're going to see no. this. And the audience who listen to this will see this probably before this comes out anyway. yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 the same day so i was like bang 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 on the door jordan opens the door obviously i'm fuming like sh- sh- this man is pissed my wife made my wife cry tried to ruin my relationship with being going well ever since and you're at his front this door. is the first time me and jay have not been a team oh, like and you're you're at, his front door. Point, at his front door banged his door in it opens the door it's like what the fuck he at this point then i realized he doesn't know i'm coming to his door they've oh got a family they've got a camera crew in the his side Filming this other scene. Oh my God. Which no one come in, but he don't know I'm there either. So I rock up. He's obviously opened the door like, like aggressively as well. We're kind of getting each other's face. I was like, you've been chatting shit behind my back. Oh my days. Like upsetting my fucking wife, you can't and all this. Um, and yeah, so then I felt his hand like come towards me. So I like kind of pushed him away. Like yeah. said, get away from me. 
And if I'm honest, like, as much as I say I would have slapped him, like if he asked my wife, I want I didn't want to go down there and no, actually no. physically no, assault him. No, of course, him. of course. Like, do you know I, mean? I didn't plan to do it. I planned to go down there and just tell him a few fucking home troops. Yeah, yeah. So I'm to shut the fuck up, basically. Get your point across. And um, yeah, but I, it got look, it got out of hand, and like I felt him come towards me. I felt kind of even though I was at his door, mm. I was told to go to his door. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. my, I didn't plan to go to his door. Yeah, yeah. I got told to go there. Um, and yeah, we come face to face. We kind of stumbled into his apartment. It kind of got a bit scruffled. Like then, like I tried to keep my wife, grabbed him by the throat. Yeah, yeah. And just like, start punching him in the ribs because no. to get, keep him away from me. Do you know what I mean? Like, even when it's at that point, I can't, went into defen- defense mode because I didn't yeah, want, yeah, of course. I did, we, was, the, we was in a corridor, like a one meter by one meter corridor. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So we're in each, we're on each other. Yeah, yeah. If you, it was whoever, even when it's, he, he did come towards me first. Yeah, yeah. So then I was like, I had to unleash because it's like, I didn't want, if I was, didn't, I would have been, got whacked. Mental. Um, Married at first sight, mate. Who'd have thought on a show? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is, this is so the funny thing goes after, right? Some, one of the guys, again, I'm not going to name him because it's no. obviously he works in the industry, so I don't want to get in, in trouble. But um, one of the guys was like, um, don't worry, Luke, as soon as it finished, you got, don't worry, Luke, if you um, get kicked off, at least you want us to be after this year. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'll tell you what, maths, mate, the producers, if I'm picking up that fucking BAFTA, I'm, I'm kicking up again. <laughs> no way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so... Mate, that is carnage. It's maths, honestly. Carnage. It's mental. So what's next? Oh, me and Jordan, we fucking hate each other. So what's next? So, because you must have press, you must have Channel 4 I'll things be honest, going on. Um, me and, like, I've been, I'll be honest with you, I like, it is, it's boiling over. Um, it's come to the point where I am in contact with um, like a big... Influence of boxing yeah. organization, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you want a boxing match? We are trying to get Saint over the line. Is we, he as we, well? Is we, he game? We, yeah, we want to. We want to like literally. No kill each way. Other. We want to literally hurt each other. No like, way. So bad. We actually do want to hurt each other. So do it legally, obviously. Yeah, exactly. No we'll do, do it in a, we do it. We do it. We'll do it in a ring. We'll do it. We'll yeah. do it legally. Um, so I've been in contact with uh, Mams Taylor. Who, yeah. Yeah, I'm real. Um, we're trying to um, get that over the line. Yeah. Um, and. I want to punch his head in again. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Like, so you're going to go toe to toe? Toe to toe. Trust Jordan me. and trust Luke, me. toe to toe. And that's why I've lost a bit of weight. I've lost 20, 21 and a half Because you've got pounds. to make weight because I take it he's shorter than you. Yeah, so I've said to him, I meet him at 180 pounds and I'm 184 pounds now. So I've only got four pounds to go. Boy, he's ready. You better run home from here, son. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that'll be the next few months. But wow, um, well, that's big. If we can get it through the line, do you know what I mean? It's not easy to get on a on a car on a misfit car. Do you know what I mean? It's not easy. But no. uh, look, have uh, you boxed before? Um, not a lot. I'll be honest. But my dad and my uncle were both suffered champions at no a way. Age, so it's in, it's in the family. And yeah, of I, course. I grew up around it. Mate. I, I mean, I've done I've done it at youth. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. not like not. I wouldn't amateur. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't yeah. like that. Um, so the next steps are. The next steps the are... The rumble in the jungle. 100%. Wow. That's literally it. What, if you do it, what song are you going to come out to? Um, I'll be honest. There's a t- I'm working with a, a guy at the minute, a, produ- a music producer. Yeah. And I've got something coming out. Not, not with me. It's like a, a dance anthem, which is going to be released in the next couple of months. Nice. So that's, well, that's, gonna, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to come out to for the first time. That's what yeah. it's going to be launched. Love it. So you know I'm a singer, don't you? you know, yeah, get, me get, get you on one, yeah. Get me on a track, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't mind singing you out. But that, that, that'll be pretty good. But um, I've got a few things up my sleeve for the end, the walkout, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Quite funny, but... Um, Some clips going on in the background or what? Yeah, clips. I've got them all sorts. Nice. I'm going to try and get a few, a couple of people involved in the walkout as well, which is going to be um, a bit of a violation to him. Really? Oh, so, my uh, God. I can already sort of picture what's going to go on. I think I know, but I don't know you've got to say, but yeah. I sort of know. But you're planning it, yes? Trust all, me. all in the right, moving in the right direction. Hundred percent. I think. Look, I think this is after this after this boxing. Could we squash it? Maybe. Yeah, like the sportsman moment, wise. Do you know what maybe made like, the best man win and all that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, like I've already beaten once. Like if I have to beat him in the ring to shut him up, then that's what it's going to have to take. Do you know what I mean? So. Wow, this is beef on another level of beef. Uh, but the thing is, like, he's he's a melt. <laughs> like so, I'm doing everyone a favour. Yeah. Just to shut and shut his gob for once, because he honestly talks so much shit. Mate, well, I am. I'm excited to see the boxing <laughs> match. I can't lie. I want front row tickets. Yeah, trust. You know, look at this. Look at this Barnet. Oh, what's going on there then? <laughs> what is going on there, Sam? Show me. Yeah, nice. Oh my God, I've just seen what that. 
So, so yeah, what? He is Jack Grealish, right? Yeah, so, look. He thinks he looks like Jack Grealish. I think I called him Wish Grealish. No. So I've been had a bit of like a bit of fucking back and forth on Instagram with um with him. Which yeah. I posted a video on Instagram, like literally slating him and um everyone's loved it. And look, it is comedy as well, but also I hate him. So it's like if it makes him if it winds him up, I'm all for it. Is so. he coming back for you? Yeah, he's he's posted a video today, like dressed as and the funny thing is he's mugged off like most Essex geezers. He's like putting like he's saying every, every Essex guy wears fake tan and does their eyelashes and uh, all this uh, shit. I've which, not got fake tan. On. Don't because you know I, mean? I, I don't want to not mugging, like him. No, he's mugging it. He's, <laughs> he's, trust me. I'm if, not involved in this, but trust can't me. Us if you're from Essex, <laughs> yeah, he's mugging us off, boys. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Where is he from? Um, Sheffield, I think. Oh really? Something like that. But oh, no, he's probably got a mop head. Look. Trust it's all good one for me. My granddad's from Sheffield. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday fan. Oh, oh he's so a Sheffield United fan. That's no, all right. That's that a bit do. of a rival there. That do. Up but the no, house. look, me and him absolutely can't understand each other. Um, we're going to go at it. And you know, even if this Misfits thing don't come through, I'm going to fight him in my bloody local pub car park. Like, swear <laughs> down. We'll make it all legit and that. We'll get it like regulated. But What's it called? Boxing. We'll do something, trust no, me. As long don't. as I knock his chin off, it's all good. Obviously, yeah. you're an Essex boy. Yeah. Plenty of stint with me or what? Do you know what? Look, who, look. <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to wait, wait and find out. You'll have to wait, you'll Am have I going to bump into you over Fairlock Waters? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, probably. Like, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are your next plans, mate? What you know, do you want to do? I ain't, got pl- I ain't got plans. Like, And that's the worst thing I've done going into TV because I, di- I don't have plans for really what I want to do after. Very hard to plan your life, yeah. I think. I think a lot of people since seeing me on TV is is like because I work in sales and that people are like you would be a great in presenting and that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Whether it's radio, whether it's that sort of stuff, I never really thought about. I didn't go on TV to be on TV or yeah. radio, but I mean, let's be honest. If there's money there, you're gonna like you, if there's money there, you're gonna do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And if I could like, do some sort of presenting or radio or something, I'd absolutely love that. I don't think I've got the face for fucking TV, but. I've I definitely, I've definitely got the winning haircut, mate. You can do oh, any TV show. Up. Get on this. A four to a six. I um. <laughs> so, that, but that's, oh, mate, I think you'd be good at that, definitely. Um. Yeah. So look, let's, let's see what happens. Don't yeah. I mean I've got. But let's, let's think. There are things maybe what are in the pipeline, but of course. But you obviously got your recruitment company now. Got a recruitment, up yeah. And which running. is it's look and business. Anyone owns like runs a business, especially when they start a business. So it's hit and miss at the start. Yeah. So it's like, it's one of their, like, like, would it work sort of thing? Like, is it working? Nah. It's working Fresh at the moment. Oh, it's, it's like, you nice. are good at it, you know? You it's are good. It's nice. <laughs> Told you to trust me. Yeah, that is true. You just have to keep on going. You yeah. know, like, like I said, for 12, 13 years we've been cutting there now. And you do, you have the quiet yeah. phases, you have to get through. Like, there's always that little bit of a lull before Christmas. Um, but well, what you've got to do is just keep going, take the risks, keep going. Yeah. I think the main thing for me, what I definitely want to do is... Um, I'd love to work alongside a men's mental health charity. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So if, there's, if there's anyone listening to this now and you need someone like to, or you want someone to work alongside you, mm. why don't you drop in my inbox because yeah. that's something I've always wanted to do. And yeah. It's a, the platform that I've built now from well, being t- on TV Touching to on to your do story it. from earlier, like I yeah. never knew that about yourself. No one knew it. Only one friend yeah. has, I've ever told that. So. And I think that's, I think, fair play for you to yeah. for being so open. I, I mm. appreciate you telling me that. I've had men for years coming in here on the absolute hires. Great deal at work, loads of money yeah. coming in. I've had men who have been left by the love of their life, yeah. had to leave their kids at home, yeah, coming in here and cutting their hair. And cry- I've had mm. men cry to me in this chair, yeah. like cutting their hair. Men's mental health is a massive thing that we all yeah. still need to take into consideration. Mm. We've all got to talk. This 100%. is why I've done this. Best place to talk is a barbershop. I swear to God, 100%. I have everyone. And obviously I know now I'm doing it with a camera, which is breaking the wall down, but it's nice for people to see this. Yeah. This is what it's about. 100%. Men can talk. You can be open with me about your experience there. Yeah. I'm not laughing. I'm not judging you. Right. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I want to know and I want to mm. help. And yeah. I know you're like that. So yeah. it, it, every man has been through some sort of negative or bad mental health. Like every man has. But like, so, some worse than others. But do you know what? Like you, you don't know what someone's been through. Yeah. And I think that's why you. A lot of like for me when I, I remember the first time I actually broke down someone. It was my. Um, my brother and my sister-in-law, like yeah. after the breakup, like I was sat, I was actually had, like I was living, like sleeping in my um, nephew's bed because yeah. obviously I, like, I didn't have nowhere to go. Of course. Um, and one day I literally, I was all happy. There was like, I think there was like, look at me like thinking, how is this guy still happy after eight years of yeah. like, a breakup? 
And one day I was sitting there watching TV and I literally just burst out crying. When you can't handle it no more, yeah. And that was the first time I ever opened up to like someone on that level. Mm. And it was like, it was such a weight off my shoulders. It is, it's mad. And it's like, do you know what? If I, any advice I give to any man out there, yeah. we have all been through it. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And no one's going to say, oh, you're a pussy no, or you're no, a wimp or no. man up. Because the term man up is used, it's, just, it's a stupid term. Yeah, yeah. And we all use it like man I think up. So. I think so. And it's men with egos. Men are so yeah. scared to drop their ego. I've been, su- su- yeah. like, I've been subject to that. When you sort of want to be the pillar that everybody else comes to. Yeah. But that pillar sometimes... It takes a lot of pressure and needs a little. Yeah. You have to have a cry, mate. 100%. I cried to my bird the other day. I had to have that like that bit of emotion out. I sank really bad on my mind, yeah. and I thought I could. I'd either screamed at the next person I saw in the face. Yeah, like screamed, or I'd just come home and shoot you're right. Yeah. and I was just like, I'm not. Bang, run it all by her. Yeah, got in bed that night. Obviously, me and her had a lovely cuddle, whatever. Got in yeah. bed, woke up, bang. It's off my shoulders. It's out there. There's yeah. so much to be said for that. Bottling shit up, mate. Yeah. Don't. And like I said, you must have bottled out for years. And I'm and very, very appreciative that you've come and told me. Yeah. And to maps. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I've needed Married at First Sight to kind of get. I probably wasn't the person that I yeah, used yeah. to be. And now I'm back. It's so nice like to say myself. that. And I can, I can agree with that on, mm. on Tally's back. Like, that built my confidence up. When, mm. I'd, when I'd done the voice trying to sing and nobody turned around, I walked off there, never wanted to sing again. Distraught, got my dad trying to talk to me, I was just like, fuck off. I said, mm. everyone, camera's in my face, how'd you feel? I said, how'd you think I fucking feel? Yeah. I was so gutted I ever said that. But it was raw, how I feel, emotion. I was yeah. so let down myself. Yeah. But then Tawi come back and said, do you want to come back? And I thought, fuck, am I going to go and put myself back on TV and back on the camera? And fuck me, I'm glad I did. I'm, yeah. Now I feel confident, I feel like, I can stand up on the stage and sing again. I'm yeah. singing more than ever. But that's, I've been yeah. at that low, you know? And, and then, to pick yourself back up. And to you know what? All I can say, when you've been at a low, the higher always feels better. Yeah, yeah. It of feels course. so much better. Like, of course. Hit that peak. And that's what I hit when I was on maths. I felt so like good. Felt confident that I was, in yourself. Like, a lot of the time, yeah, I did. I mean, yeah. well, there was times where I was down, like my mental health, I did struggle in there, trust yeah. me, but that's because you're in that intense environment. But it's a journey, isn't it? 100%. It's up, down, up, down. And without any lows, we don't have any highs. Exactly. Which that. is what my, my missus said that to me the other night. Yeah. She's like, without any lows, we don't have any highs. I've been where you are, and I respect that from you, but. We're now back up on the, on the up, and if yeah. there's men out there that need to talk, come 100%. and talk to us. Come, come and talk. To, always say hello. Always talk to us. And also, I think another good point is about men's mental health. If you're a woman like watching this, and you feel that your man could be struggling, get advice from another man of what it looks like for a man to struggle. Because I don't yeah. think some like, and it's not even women's fault. Because sometimes men men can't read women. Like, yeah, that, that's yeah. known. Yeah. But I think when it comes to mental health, women find it hard to read men as well. Yeah. So I think, like, again, I think the, that... The, the typical thing of men are from Mars, women are from Venus is so true. Yeah, it is. Do you know what I mean? Is. We're never going to know how, what's going on in their brains. They're never going to know what's going on in our brains. And literally ask, literally, if you sit down with your man and say, look, it's okay to talk to me. So yeah. Put it to one if you think he's struggling, of course. just ask him. Because I'm telling you now, you're that person, they will, you're the first person they'll tell. Yeah. Like, if they haven't told anyone. So definitely, definitely speak to them. Oh, that's good, mate. You speak very well when you speak about that. Obviously, it's nice. And it's, it's, it's an important, important subject. I think that's great if you can get involved with them charities yeah. and do what you've got to do. But no, it's definitely something I want to I want to get from from maths, really. Like, yeah. is working with mental health, mental yeah. health charities. Definitely. Of course. Luke, it's been an absolute pleasure Thanks having, having you in me. today. How is that for a trim? Not as good as I thought. No, I'm totally <laughs> <laughs> no, six. So I've not fair. taken no, the fade silly higher. That's good, yeah. I so I, I, low, I've done it out. It keeps your head shake that little yeah. bit squarer and nicer. Put my own little product in there for you. A little bit of wax, keep that nice and tidy. Wicked. Are no, we happy? Wicked. Yeah, perfect. Luke, Cheers, thank mate. you, mate, for coming into the barber shop, spilling the tea, giving us all the goss. Mate, <laughs> tell what they got to watch Married at First Sight, right? Yeah. Keep tuning in. Keep watching and give Luke all his BAFTA. Make yeah. sure he picks it up. <laughs> no. Could you imagine? They, they ain't invo- they're not inviting me back to no BAFTA, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel mate. like I've been blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's been lovely to see you, yeah? Wicked, cheers, mate. No problem at all. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and tune in next time when we go back into the barbershop. <laughs>